you mentioned you met Eric Bischoff through martial arts. What was your first impressions of Eric Bischoff when you met him? We were young guys. We were we were both. We, we, I think Eric is maybe six months, seven months younger than I am. So we we're basically the same age. He he blew his knee out. He was a wrestler actually, a collegiate wrestler, um, and and um, he still had a lot of competition blood in him. So he got into martial arts. He uh, worked at one of the karate schools, and and one of the things he would love to do is to go to um, karate tournaments. And you know we, we we were all poor, so you know we had no money. So you know, and I I happened to have a van, and you know we would travel on a weekend to a karate tournament, and and uh, uh, Eric Bischoff and certainly back in the days, um, he was one of the toughest guys I think. And I, I mentioned this before and, and um, on a couple other interviews, but I, what I remember about Eric Bischoff fighting in the karate tournaments that he got DQ'd a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so did you live in Minneapolis at that time as well? No, I do know where you know I live in I live in Iowa, which is about two hours away from Minneapolis, and so uh, you know on the weekends I would go up to train with those guys, um, um, you know, two hour up and. And spend a weekend training with those guys, and and certainly when I was training with boxing, um, um, up there when I was getting ready for a kickboxing fight, you know, we we would go up there and train. And you mentioned in another interview that Eric Bischoff had a very young girlfriend at that time. Well, actually, actually, it's it's, it's current wife. I mean, okay. you know, Lori is is um, um, uh, petite, even now, very beautiful. I mean, he got lucky on that one. Um, and, and what happened was, you know, we, we, we traveled, we become brothers in, in martial arts. And, and uh, um, uh, one day he's going to introduce me to his new girlfriend. And, and, and I can picture this even now. The, we were at Highway 100 to Old Radisson, which is it's, it's where they have the uh, um, Diamond National Karate Tournament now. Uh, I don't know what the hotel is called now, but I remember, you know, we're gonna meet him there for drink. Uh, um, it was it was me and and my my wife, Julie, and and we got to meet Lori and and I, and I, you know, he introduces Lori to us and and I had to pull Eric to the side and I said, look, you know, I said, Eric, man, I said, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, I said she looked like she's 14 years old. What are you, you know, she's a petite, very. You know, beautiful young lady, but she, you know she, she looked like she was sixteen at best. You know, that was my guess. But so, but turned out that certainly she was the legal age. Um, didn't mean to accuse Eric of, uh, uh, of breaking any laws, but uh, um, and and. I said, Eric, you're gonna go to jail, man. I said, you, you. <laughs> and then he assured me that she was that age. So, uh, but lucky for him, you know, they're still together, and and they have two beautiful kids, you know, Montana and Garrett, and and uh, we we have obviously through, you know, martial arts and wrestling, we we're uh, they've been here, yeah, um, they've been in Mason City, Iowa, and the only reason they would come here to visit me, so. I do. I do probably figured it out already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Now, how did your business relationship with Eric begin? Um, I think. I think um, one of the most interesting things was, you know, Eric was doing a lot of things. Um, I think after he was managing at martial arts school, um, I believe it was called the USA Karate. And and uh, he was a, he was a manager salesperson at the at the uh, karate school in Bloomington, Minnesota, and he was doing um, you know we all we're, we're all poor. I mean you know I mean we're we're actually um, um, not really thinking about how we're gonna get ahead. We're more interested in how we're gonna get to the tournament next weekend. You know um, maybe he was better than I was, but at least that's where my heads were. And Eric was actually, you know, st struggling just like I was, but he was, he was actually, and he's a great salesman, by the way. And, and uh, he was actually selling door-to-door -door meat. I think that's, I mean, that's a hard to do. That, I think that's harder, well, almost as hard to do as selling a vacuum cleaner door-to-door. -door. So, you know, um, 
And, and uh, one day, um, as we were traveling, I said, you know, Eric, I got this game that I kind of come up with. And he says, you know, and he, and he was willing to try. I said, you got, we got, you know, you got to see our kids play this game. And it was, it was a, we called it Ninja Star Wars. And it was actually a, a Velcro Ninja Stars that we threw at each other. And we made a kind of storyline. There was, there was headbands and eye goggles and, and uh, a vest that uh, these Velcro would stick to. And we came up with two different scenarios of the games, you know, capturing a flag and, you know, that kind of thing. And we had a little storyline that we read. <clears throat> and Eric says, you know, knowing he, I mean, he, he, he said, we, we got to get this on TV. We got to sell this thing. So um, uh, with help of Eric and, and, and we kind of combined our, uh, uh, our resource together, um, had a guy, uh, uh, I think the gentleman's name was Mr. Shen, uh, uh, out, of, out of Chicago, it was a Korean guy who had a martial art uh, um, supply store, had him manufacture the game, and and uh, Eric went to, we got to get this on TV. And I, suddenly, I have no way, I don't know anything about television. And he says, well, you know, let me see if we can go talk to these guys, Vern Gagne and AWA. So, um, so some of you guys uh, can't blame me for how Eric got in the wrestling business. So Eric takes this game and goes to um, uh, AWA, speak with, with uh, Vern and those guys and says, hey, you know, you have a commercial time that they get from being on national syndicated television show, you know, and we'll split the money with you from this sale of game. So, um, Eric shot the commercial uh, with my karate kids that I had. Um, we used them on a commercial. And I think Eric directed the commercial, kids playing kind of like this setting, you know, hiding behind a couch, throwing desks, telling us stories. And, and um, shot the commercial and uh, got to be on national television on syndicated TV through uh, AWA shows. And, and um, you know, we didn't make any money, but we learned a lot. And and uh, one of the best things ever happened out of that deal was Eric Bischoff got a job with AWA. As I think he got a job as selling syndicated show, um, syndicate, you know, AWA shows. And, and uh, that's how he got in. And then through that, and Eric can tell you the better story because I really don't know. I only know what I heard from him is that you know, one day announcer they show up on the AWA shows, television taping, and they put a they put a you know sports coat on him, and he was you know he's a good looking guy, suddenly you know twenty some years old. Uh, I think he was even doing some modeling at the time, and and uh, you know they put a microphone on him and started interviewing the wrestlers, and that's how he got in in front of the camera and became an a, a announcer. Did you have any interest at all in wrestling when you were younger? Were you a fan at all? Amateur wrestling, you know, um, um, so um, certainly professional wrestling because we're in AWA territory here, right. uh, certainly. So, you know, they used to come to town. Uh, there's a Catholic school here called Newman High School. They would come once or twice a year and, you know, and, and they would there do their shows, you know, um, um, you know, the Crushers and, 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 uh, um, <laughs> You know, Mr. Zumoff and, you know, even, even so, so you know, Vern Gagne, um, um, those, those are the crowd that we used to come down here from AWA days. Did you ever meet uh, Mr. Zumoff there? The, he's had a lot of uh, legal issues. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's been down here a few times. I mean, certainly on a show and I, I got to meet him a few times, I think. But you I, never knew him personally? No, no. Okay. 